your customers tell you what they want. You just need to make sure you listen to them and then deliver it to them in a way that generates them results. Yeah. The first thing that has been really valuable is we've always done launches and challenges. So we've always delivered free training to get people into our paid programs. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have done anywhere from four launches a year to two launches a year. We're now, we're now into two launches a year for our eight week programs. We now have two eight week programs. Okay. And those challenges have really built our list. You know, when you do a challenge, what I love about a challenge or a launch, however you want to sell your program, uh -huh. is it creates a lot of groundswell and it creates a lot of excitement and enthusiasm for the message and what you're teaching. And so with ad spend, with our podcast, with our free Facebook group, with these things that we've built, you know, we promote that to our community with some of the partners we work with. We promote these challenges to get a, a, a few thousand people into these free challenges, which builds our list, which gets people really excited. And I teach, like in a challenge, I teach two hours every day for five days. I do an okay. hour of training and an hour of answering questions. There's a workbook. We don't charge for this. We deliver massive amounts of, of value and then we make the offer for those people that want more to join us in one of our eight week eight our eight week programs and then from there we have our inner circle program so once they've done eight weeks with us if they want to continue the journey there's an opportunity for them to apply for our inner circle program what, so what, what what's the difference um just for people that are listening um sure. between a launch and a challenge yeah. So it's, it's basically the same thing. So some people call them launches. Some people mm -hmm. call them challenges. We've done a launch for a program before or our association where it may be a set of interviews. So it's like not me training. We bring members in and we just do interviews. Or for instance, we once did a launch, which was a 24 hour marathon of our content, right? We oh, did wow. a live stream of our content for 24 hours. Huh. We've done a summit and a summit, we've done a summit once that had 35 speakers over 10 days. And we've also done a summit that had 11 speakers over one day. So a launch for me is anything that delivers value where you can uh, hopefully get people to that next stage and, and working with you. And sometimes it's challenges, it's webinars, it's summits, it's, it's anything that delivers value and, and builds your list. Okay. And then is a challenge then something like that's, how does that so differ? Just, our just challenge, yeah, I'll walk you through our challenge model. So our challenge model that, uh, that we've been doing for five years has definitely evolved. So the, the one that we did recently, what it looked like, was two weeks of quick 15 to 20 minute Facebook lives with me, uh, Monday to Friday, uh, so for 10 days. And during those two weeks, we were promoting the free challenge. So this okay. is like the free training leading up to the free training, right? Okay. So it's, All right. <laughs> it's, it's 10 days of Facebook lives, 15 to 20 minutes, where I am teaching different concepts all around student attraction, enrollment, and retention. Is, is there a goal during those things? Like it, what, what is the challenge part? Is it like, you know, hey, if you're gonna, we're gonna go through this and then you're going to accomplish something or, or how does that work? 100%, 100%. So in this first piece though, it's just teaching different concepts and we're promoting okay. for them to register for the challenge. Got it, right? okay. So it's two weeks of free Facebook Lives Okay. to promote the challenge that's happening in week number three. Got it. And so and the, pro mm -hmm. and so go, the go promise, ahead. the promise of week number three, which is the actual challenge when it's happening Monday to Friday, we do the challenge. It's two hours every day, an hour of training at 12 PM, an hour of Q and a at four, 4 PM. Oh, and nice. we have a workbook. That's a full workbook that they fill out. And I essentially every day, go through a workbook and fill in the gaps for them. So okay. they have a workbook that has empty, empty different Spaces. things and teasers in there. Got it. Um, 
And we really, you know, my premise around our challenge is to give you clarity on how you can move forward in attracting, enrolling and retaining new students for the new season. That was our okay. promise for this challenge because we're about to jump into a new, a new dance season. Once you've got your market, you've got your positioning, you understand your market and you know what they really want, right? right. I know without a doubt, our dance studio owners, the top thing that they want is how to attract new students. Like that is their top desire. And we talk about that probably about 70% of the time. Although we do a whole bunch of other things for our market, we know that that's a great way to bring people in. So understand who your target market is and niche, niche down. Everyone has heard this, but people are still so afraid to like pick a niche and dive really deep into that niche and then serve them deeply, really deeply. And so understand what they want. So if you've got the positioning piece, you've done that, don't go out and do the photo shoot and get the new website and spend, you know, all of your money on that. You don't need to do that, right? You need a landing page and you need great positioning and you need to be able to help people have a solution that people really want, throw some money at it and start doing webinars to call applications or ads to book a call with you and get on the phone and talk to your customers. Too many people, nice. and a lot of people come to me for advice in different, uh, you know, in different industries. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, in the webinar, and the, I need my eight week course. And I was like, no, you just need <laughs> to talk to people. You need to get right. on the phone and sell your program or sell your consulting. And as soon as you sell it, then you figure it out, right? Because right. <laughs> you will figure it out when you work with people. Like I did 140 one-on-one -on -one clients, you know, in a year. I That's how I built my online program. I just didn't like come up with an online program <laughs> or go through a course on what I need to teach. Right. Like I, I spoke with people and, and I feel like it's something I don't see a lot of happening at the moment. And yeah. so I would say, get some ads going, get on the phone and talk to people and start selling a high end, a higher end consulting or coaching package, work one-on-one -on -one for six to 12 months, then look at a group model. Most of our product creation comes from our customers, our current mm -hmm. customers. So we are, my members would tell you I'm a feedback junkie. Like I just, I just sent an email on Sunday to our inner circle members saying, Hey guys, I'm working on season six of the inner circle. So we work in see like a TV show. So we're going nice. into season six of the inner circle. I was like, Hey guys, I'm working on season six. What is missing from your inner circle experience? Like what would make this like the most mind blowing experience for you? And I sent them an email and I, there was no Google form. There was no survey monkey. It was like me just sending an email to 164 members in the inner circle to say, tell me what you think, be honest. And they were so honest because we actually do stuff with their feedback. We create programs from their feedback. We change our events. We bring in different speakers. We, hmm. we adapt our experience for them. I say to them all the time, like our best ideas are just your ideas that you've shared with us. Yeah. Like yeah. your customers tell you what they want. You just need to make sure you listen to them and then deliver it to them in a way that generates them results. Oh, 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 oh,